Hi everybody, I'm Brian Mackey, Product Manager for Enable RMM. And it's been a few weeks since we updated you in a quick video of all the recent enhancements we've put out in RMM. So let's give you a quick summary of those improvements. Uh, first of all, we've just released our new uh, Windows Agent 10.11.1. Uh, this contains an important update to our TeamViewer integration. It upgrades our integration to TeamViewer's version 15, their latest offering. Amongst other things, this includes a nice usability improvements in that when you uh, connect to a TeamViewer remote access session, it will no longer download that TBC file. It will be a more seamless connection. It's important for you to take note that when this agent 10.11.1 goes GA, which we're expecting later in July, you'll have about two months from that point to upgrade any devices that use the TeamViewer integration, both the standalone integration or through the take control feature. Both of those need to update to that latest agent in order to continue to work beyond end of September. So you'll have plenty of weeks, you'll have two months to upgrade those devices to the latest agent at that point, but it is important to note you do this so the uh, TeamViewer integration, Take Control and Standalone will uh, continue to work. To help uh, know which agent versions your devices are on, we've actually added a optional column to the North pane that you will see when you click on the columns drop down. You can now see the agent version that these devices are running. So it's a little easier to tell which agent version uh, your devices are on. And it is important to, as a good practice to stay up to date with the latest GA agents. Uh, so you take advantage of feature enhancements, bug fixes, security updates and the like. What else? Well, we added a uninstalled protection feature that is also currently in the RC agent and then will go GA uh, in the next uh, few weeks. This means that a end user who accidentally uninstalls the advanced monitoring agent um, won't be able to do so. Instead, you'll be prompted to enter a passcode that really technically or normally the MSP technician knows, but a regular end user wouldn't. So it helps to protect uh, devices from having their agents uninstalled accidentally. We have an improvement to our VMware ESXi checks out of the box uh, so that they will now work with the latest uh, ESXi version. So a nice improvement there. Uh, devices that have the old checks, you would need to replace them and update to the new checks uh, so that you can take advantage of this improvement. We have also released a few updates to patch management, uh, including better handling for uh, Chrome patching, Chrome browser patches, so that end users can be updated even if they're using the browser and you can have a, a better management of, of that patching experience for your customers. Okay, that's it. That's our summary. As always, you can read full release details, including screenshots, etc., on the Enable Status blog. You can, of course, subscribe to this YouTube channel uh, to stay up to date with improvements uh, through these little video highlights. And with that, thanks for your time and look forward to updating you again in a few weeks.